Okay, so hi everyone. My name is Jay. I'm Dr. Kane. And we are here at Total Health Systems to bring you a video about the relationship between chiropractors and physical therapists. Now here at Total Health Systems, we are a multidisciplinary clinic. So we're doing massage, we're doing chiropractic, we're doing physical therapy. We do it all. So it's pretty fantastic that we have this relationship in which we can see patients in the same day. But unfortunately, there's some clinics that don't really do that. And that's kind of where the topic of today comes in because I don't know, there's this fallacy out there that chiropractors shouldn't really talk to physical therapists, that we have these two totally separate lives, and but we're seeing the same people, so it doesn't really make any sense. So that's why we're here today. But I guess those of you know these folks out here that may not know what chiropractors do or physical therapists do in our department, I guess what would you say is your typical day in a chiropractic setting? Yeah, good question, Jay. <laughs> hey. So in terms of what chiropractors do at, at the very core, we find joints that are stuck, not moving very well. We do the adjustment get them moving better, which promotes uh, overall better mechanics in the body, helps to reduce pain, and promotes overall better health. So that's essentially what we do in a nutshell. Uh, yourself, Jay, physical therapist, well, what, what do you do? I guess physical therapy, it's pretty simple. I feel as though we're here to really just dispel pain altogether. I think that's the most important part of our jobs, but in particular, I would say muscle pain, muscle weakness, increasing range of motion in any kind of joints or anything like that. Even if we go to the proprioceptive scale, where we're talking about balance and things like that, I mean, it really is kind of a huge umbrella term when I think of physical therapy. And same thing with chiropractic, that it's really just not one thing that we work on. So it's kind of nice. I like it a lot. But, I, you know, I really think that, I mean, now that we know what we usually do, I guess, what are, um, what are some issues that may be specific for chiropractic? Sure, yeah, good, <laughs> good, good question, Jay. Uh, and let me preface by saying that having the combination of chiropractic and physical therapy, that mm -hmm. is the best for virtually anyone with a musculoskeletal condition. Uh, the physical therapists do a wonderful job of addressing the, the muscular component. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. The, 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 doing the, the trigger points, right stretches, right exercises, the balance exercises. So having that to control the muscular system and also having the joints aligned and mobilized from the chiropractic, those two it's such a wonderful synergy between the, the skeletal and the muscular systems, the musculoskeletal system. So, so address them both, take great care of them. Uh, to, coming back to, to your question, of, you know, in which situation would you want to do more so one than the other, or mm -hmm. favor the chiropractic? Maybe there's some instances in which someone has a kink in their neck, they woke up, and they, it's just neck's not moving so well. A lot of times an adjustment, one or two, can really clear that up rather quickly. But even in those situations, having the, any trigger points you might have associated with it, and the, the stretches right. or the exercises to prevent it from happening again is really going to be ideal. And I don't know, for me personally, before I came to this office, I was working mm -hmm. in an office that was just chiropractors, and it, we, we still did good, we still helped out a lot of people, the success rate is maybe 75%, but coming here and having almost all our patients co-managed between myself mm -hmm. and Jay or Mike, our other physical therapists, I noticed that my success rate has significantly gone up, it's at least 90% now, mm -hmm. uh, and it's, it's just a, a yeah, really, really great, great way to have a, just a different mindset, a different perspective coming in. Uh, to, to really help you out with your, your musculoskeletal condition. So, how about you, Jay? <laughs> in what situations is someone be better off to maybe start off with physical therapy than and chiropractic? You know, it's a good question because I feel like there's so many things that well, we can both help out with, you know? But I feel like a typical patient population that we see is something that is more, say, if uh, you just had surgery, say shoulder surgery, looking for a little bit more range of motion gains, looking for decreasing in pain, um, we might. Even on muscle weakness, we can get you stronger, and then we can add in that proprioceptive, that balance issue too. I mean, they say if you break an ankle, break a leg, something like that, your balance is gonna be a little sketchy. So here we are to help save the day. So it's really, I mean, it's really a big umbrella term that I think about chiropractic and physical therapy. It's really, there is just so much that we can do to help people. How blessed, you know, that's a pretty cool job. But I guess now that we kind of know what we do, what's, what kind of differentiates us between the two, I guess if we're looking to see a particular therapist, whether it be massage therapy, physical therapy, chiropractic, I guess what are some quality traits that you like to see in that therapist? Yeah, another good question, Jay. <laughs> for, for, for this, I, I, for, for me personally, I, I have a bit of a bias from the, the chiropractic perspective, knowing the, the good ones and the bad ones mm -hmm. and, and what some of the things differentiate. And I know for sure the biggest pet peeve I have with the chiropractic profession is that they, they over-recommend the, the, chiro, the chiropractic. You follow the money and you, you'll see that, uh, you know, if you get someone to come in, you know, five times a week for the rest of their life, you know, that's, you know, it could be a, a you know, financially a, a good move. But does the patient really need that? Do they really need as many adjustments as what a lot of, you know, a lot of chiropractors out there are recommending? And, uh, unfortunately, the, the truth is no, they don't need quite as, as many as they recommend. Sometimes you are going to need a, a good number if it, if it is a chronic condition you've had for a while, 
but um, a lot of times within a couple of weeks, within just you know maybe five, ten adjustments, a person would be feeling a whole world of a, of a lot better. And uh, so to me, it's important that the, that the healthcare practitioner, whatever they're doing, that they can clearly explain what the problem is and what it's going to take for them to get better. And if they're not getting better, if you say in a couple of weeks you feel better, they're not, that you can modify the program, tailor it uh, to, to where they're at and, and to making sure that you get the results that, that you're, you're discussing with, with the patient. So I feel that's absolutely uh, essential. Uh, how about yourself? What, what do you think is important to, to find? Hmm. You know, that is a great question. That's an interesting question because I feel like there's a lot that you got to look at. But one thing that I really feel is important is listening. Someone that's truly going to listen to you. And we know that there's that difference between being heard and being listened to. So I always use that primary care physician example where, I mean, you could talk to your doctor and you're explaining some just aches and pains that you've been experiencing. And already he's just prescribing some things in his mind. He's like, okay, we're going to set you up with this and this the whole time while you're talking. And yet all of these things are going right over their head. And I don't really like that because... You know, we're so much more to the body than just neck pain, shoulder pain, back pain. I mean, there's so much more to us that, I mean, it's little pieces of a puzzle. that It's like this mosaic of life that we're living. So, really, I mean, there's too many times where I feel like being a patient that I just haven't been hurt. I feel like I didn't get proper treatment because of that. So, I feel like if you can find somebody that truly listens to you and they are hearing exactly what you're saying, that makes a world of a difference. Mm -hmm. But is there anything else that you think is a good quality trait in a therapist? I do, Jay. Hey. Another, another, <laughs> another important thing is to, to find someone who's, whose background or specialty suits you, especially in today's day and age. There are so many subspecialties within physical therapy and mm -hmm. chiropractic and massage, and, and that whatever, if you're a, an 18-year-old baseball player and you've got a shoulder injury, there are physical therapists and chiropractors that really have a real healthy background in sports injuries that can work with you. If you're pregnant, there's I know here at Total Health Systems, we've got a couple pregnant chiropractors pregnant. ourselves right now that right. Uh, that can you know very much walk you through that journey and, and really you know from the inside out understand what it is that, that you're going through. Uh, at Deuce Office here at St. Clair Shores, we specialize in peripheral neuropathy. It's another great thing we can help out with. So it's um, so whatever specific it is that, that you have, find someone whose experience really matches what it is that that, uh, that you have, and it's another real important thing to look for. Mm. So these are important issues, you know? I mean, this, this is why we're glad that we're able to just shed these to light today. I mean, it's something that, of course, we're going to keep continuing to come have videos with you just with some really pertinent information, but we thought this was a great first video just to kind of get you guys introduced as to what we do here and what we do here at Total Health Systems as well. So uh, I guess really on behalf of, you know, myself and Dr. Kane and I here for Total Health Systems, thanks for watching. Of course, if you have any questions, concerns, anything like that, we got this crazy comment section down below. More than welcome to give us ideas, inspiration. We want the ideas. We want the input. So really, I guess, is there anything else we should add to these lovely viewers here? I think that's it. Yeah, we enjoyed that's putting it. this video together for you and looking forward to doing more. And like Jay said, any, any questions, anything we do to help, uh, leave in the comments down below and we'll, we'll reach out to you. Mm-hmm. Yeah, see you soon.